Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Marco and this is Exploration Gaming. If you're like me, you've been spending a lot of time lately on High Isle and Aminos, doing the dailies and farming steadfast coffers for the Heroes event. So if you haven't yet picked up the free provisioning station in High Isle, you should do it now. And I'm going to show you how. It's one of the coolest looking crafting stations in the game and you can grab all the antiquity leads for it while you're going about your regular business, doing other things like harvesting nodes, doing some quests, or killing mobs for the weekly endeavor. Multitasking is key to ESO, I always say. There are 10 leads for this, but don't worry, it's much easier than doing a mythic. All the leads are more or less in the open, and they have a lovely little fizzy animation to help you see them more clearly. Here's a handy dandy reference map showing you all the locations, but I'll briefly describe where each one can be found as well. There are seven leads on High Isle and three leads on Aminos. Okay, here we go. Number one is the blending broomstick, and by the way, you can do these in any order you like. There's a box next to a tree east of Garrick's Rest near the road. The box says ancient cleaning tools. Number two is the clay cooling pitcher. It's on the beach near a tree west of Spriggan's Crown in southern High Isle. Number three is the cracked stone grill tray. It's behind a shipwreck in the water at Skulltooth Cove. Number four is the Druid Kettle Spout, which is in a bay north of Stonelore Falls. It's in a teapot next to a boulder. Number five is the Druid Pestle. This one is on Aminos, north of the station. It's on the south side where the tunnel to the hidden foundry is located, and you can find it in the third compartment from the left on the bottom row. Number six is the painted elk clay pot. It's on a small island in a lake northeast of Aminos station. Number seven is the preparation surface lead. It's northwest of Tordreoc. From the vent, you walk up the hill to the west. The lead is next to a tree. Number eight is the smooth stone grinder. It's on the northeast shore of the All Flags Islet. It's on a stone behind a rock between two parts of a shipwreck. Number nine is the wood fire chamber. This is in a small druid settlement close to the Dufort Shipyard Way Shrine. The lead is on a blazing lava stone just right of the stairs. And the tenth and final lead is the woven straining bowl. This is just east of Castle Navir, in a little bowl next to a tree close to the road. Now when you find all the leads, you need to dig them up with your antiquity skills. Combine them and voila, a gorgeous provisioning crafting station that you can put in your house. You can only do this quest once per account. I hope you're enjoying this content. If you are, please like and subscribe. I can always use your help growing this channel. I hope you're having fun with Heroes of High Isle. I know I am. I've been on the PTS a bit as well, and there are some great things coming down the pike, so stay tuned and keep playing. As always, I'm Marco. Have fun with ESO. Be kind to others, and keep exploring.